Okay, part two of the uh, onion dinner rolls is in the soup, black bean soup. This is going to be part three. By the way, welcome to America's Home Cooking. All right, we need one large egg, lightly beaten. And we're all going to so set the oven to 350. things overlapping. I've got my, uh, for the sand, I'm making eggplant sandwiches today. I have them sitting in yogurt today instead of buttermilk. You can always put it in buttermilk, but why not be different and do it in yogurt? Now you know those onions that we put on the side? We're going to need those as well. a dog. He'll love you if you give him this leftover egg. It's good for their coat. It really is. Put the cod liver oil in it. Oh boy. Their, their fur will get so soft. You're going to take these onions that you've been chop, 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 chopping up early on. You're going to lay them on the rolls. They should stick to the egg quite well. Sometimes they don't, but they should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just imagine these with stew. Wouldn't that be good? I'm not making stew. I didn't buy stew meat this time. I bought short ribs. I went out to where I paid for it. Then a friend who works there sat there and said, I love short ribs in my life. You can't afford them. I said, I know, I, I just, you know, just do the best I can. So now we have to wait for this oven to get up. And when it does, you are going to be cooking them for 25 to 30 minutes. I'll show you, I'm not gonna show you when I put them into the oven. I'll show you when they're done. Okay, let's get those rolls out now. They smell delicious, I'm not gonna lie to you. Here they are. Don't they look nice? They really, really do, and I don't have a place to put them. make eggplant sandwiches. So what I did was, instead of doing the milk and the egg and flour and everything, I didn't do that this time. This time I coated them heavy, each piece heavily with yogurt. Then I put it in flour, tossed it, and put it on the rack to sit five, six minutes. Then I went back to the flour again and I dipped them in the flour again. And then I set it out to dry for about three or four minutes while I was heating the oil up. And what I noticed was, what I was doing was I was frying the flour to hold the moisture in. Now, if you add salt, 
to the egg or the milk or the flour, salt is a drawing compound. So it's going to draw the fluid out of your eggplant and it's going to be mushy unless you eat it right away. Now, I'm not saying that mine are, aren't soft, but this is what they look like. It almost looks like toast. And they're not greasy. So what the flour did, we came a crust on it. See, when you add the milk, they're going to get soggier. When you add the egg in it, it's going to get soggier. You add the salt, the salt's going to draw it out. So you end up with mushy um, eggplant that has a high grease content in it. This turned out very nice, and make sure that you don't overcook them. All right, so take care.